You're watching Kiddos World TV. Hi, kiddos. My name is Lance. And welcome to Kiddos World TV. For today's lesson, we will learn an important skill so we can keep track of our daily activities. Time reading. And to help us with this task, let me introduce to you my trusty friend, Clocko. Hello, kiddos. As you can see, I am a clock. And today, I'm going to teach you how to read time. But first, let me show you my parts. My face has numbers that run from number one up to number 12. It also has five lines between numbers. Now let's proceed to my two most important parts, which are my hands. My big hand and my small hand. My small hand shows the hour. Every time my small hand moves from one number to the other, it means one hour has passed. For example, when my small hand pointed at number one moves to number two, we read the time as two o'clock. When it moves to the number three, it's three o'clock. And then it moves again. Now it's four o'clock. Five o'clock. And so on. Meanwhile, my big hand shows the minutes. Now look closely as I show you a total of 60 small lines around my face. These lines represent 60 minutes in an hour. For example, it's three o'clock. Now look closely as my big hand makes a movement and landed in the first small line. We read the time as 3.01. Now it moves again. We read the time as 3.02. Then 3.03, 3.04, 3.05. Now that you already know my parts, let's learn how to properly read the time. There are 24 hours, or 1,440 minutes in a day. And reading the time in a clock can help us easily distinguish day from night. When my small hand made a full movement in my face, it means 12 hours has already passed. It's the afternoon, or a new day has begun. Here are some kiddos' fun facts. Did you know that AM is short for the Latin phrase anti-meridium, which means before midday or before noon? <gasps> Meanwhile, PM stands for the Latin phrase post-meridium, which means afternoon or after midday. Yay! Now let's practice. For now, let's guess the time. After the hour. Are you ready? Here we go! Can you tell me the time? That's correct! It's 5 past 6 a.m. or 6.05 a.m. How about this time? Yes! It's 10 past 6 a.m. or 6.10 a.m. And this one? You're absolutely right! It's 15 past 6 a.m. or 6.15 a.m. We can also tell time before the hour. Kiddos, can you tell me the time? Correct! Yay! It's 5 before 6 p.m. or 5.55 p.m. Let's try another one. It's 10 before 7 p.m. or 6.50 p.m. How about this one? Fantastic! It's 15 to 9 p.m. or 8.45 p.m. Are you still game for another exercise? Let's do it! Kiddos, can you tell me the time? Correct! It's 7.10 a.m. Let's 
do another one. That's right. It's 9.13 p.m. How about this one? Wow, that's correct. It's 5.05 a.m. Knowing how to read time is very important. It can help you be aware of your daily schedule, such as waking up, going to school, play time, eating time, study time, and sleeping time. It can also make you responsible and perform your daily tasks on time, as what your parents would require. Thank you for watching and see you in our next lesson, kiddos! Yay! Having fun, kiddos? Please click subscribe for more learning and fun! See you in the next videos!